Hi guys, this is Sadiq from Broadband, and in this video, we will show you two methods to extract the payload broadband file. So, what exactly is this file, and why do you need to extract it? Well, nowadays, many companies, including OnePlus, packs the firmware inside the payload broadband file. So, if you need an individual partition file, then you will have to extract the payload file. For example, if you are planning to root your phone via Magis, then for routing, you need the boot.img file, and that boot.img file is present inside the payload broadband file itself. Similarly, if you want to disable the DM verity, then you will need to flash the dbmeta.img file. Again, this file is also there inside the payload admin file itself. Similarly, if your device gets soft break or is in a boot loop, then you will have to flash the individual partition file to the partitions using password command. Again, all these partition files are there inside the payload admin file itself. Or if your radio and signal is not working, then you can use the modem.img file and flash it via password command. Again, this modem file is also there in the payload file itself. So, if you want any of the partition file, then you will have to extract this payload file. And in this video, we will show you two different methods for doing so. The first method is by a command prompt, whereas the second method is using a third party tool. Let's check out both this method. We will be starting off with the first method of command prompt first. So, for that, you will have to download the firmware for your phone. You could either use the official OnePlus website or a third party app such as OnePlus Oxygen Updater app. Once you have downloaded the firmware, it should look something like this. It would be in a zip format initially. So right click on it and select extract all and extract it anywhere on your PC. I have extracted it. So you should see a couple of files. Among this, the most important is payload.bin file. So we will now use this file and extract it. Let me show you how this could be done. The first method is using command prompt. For that, we will be using the payload dumper go tool. So you will have to download this tool. The link has been given in the description. So click on it and download it and then extract it anywhere on your PC. As for this video, I have extracted it inside E drive. So once the extraction is complete, you should see the payload dumper go file only. So this is the payload dumper go file that you could see application file. So once you should see the payload dumper go application file, after that you will have to Download the DLL file. So download it and paste it inside the payload dumper go folder itself. Finally, you will have to paste the payload.bin firmware file that you had got after extracting the firmware. For example, this is the firmware that I got the payload.bin file. Just paste it inside the payload dumper go folder. So with this, we have got all the three files as you could see the DLL file, the payload dumper go file, as well as the firmware file. So let's now proceed ahead to extract it. For that, go to his address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. With this, the command prompt will not pick up the payload dumper go directory itself. Now all you need to do is just execute this command payload dumper go followed by the name of the firmware which is payload.bin and hit enter. As you could see, the firmware extraction has begun and it will now extract all these files. The process could take a few minutes, around 10 to 15 minutes, depending on the firmware size. So you will now have to wait for the firmware to be extracted. However, if you just need a single file, for example, you only need the boot file for boot, then there is no need to carry out the entire process. Rather, you could skip the entire process and end the process right here itself. For that, you could use the Control C shortcut, and the process will end end here. Or if you are planning to want all the files, then let the process complete. But for this video, let me show you how to end this process here. First and foremost, verify that the file has been completed to 100%. As you could see, that is the case with boot file. So now use the Control C command shortcut, and it will now end the process right here. As you could see, the process has been stopped. So now you should see an extracted folder inside the payload dumper go folder. Go there, and you could see the boot image file is now there. We could use this file to patch and root by matches. However, if you want all the partition files, then let the process complete and it could take around 10 to 15 minutes. Once the process is complete, you should see the output something like this. Let me show you. This will be all the files of the partition IMG. You could use this file to carry out the desired task. So guys, this was the first method of getting this job done. Let me show you the next method. For that, we will be using the password enhance tool. So download it from the link given in the description. It is also an open source tool whose source code is there on the GitHub. So download it and extract it anywhere on your PC. Once you have extracted it, it would show something like this. 
you just need to copy paste the failure.bin firmware file that you had got after downloading the OnePlus firmware file. For example, this is the file I got failure.bin. Just copy this file and paste it inside the Fastboot Enhanced tool. Once you have pasted it, you could now launch the tool via the Fastboot Enhanced EXE file. Once the tool launches, go to the payload dumper tab and then click on Browse. After that, choose the payload.bin file and click Open. It will now load the file in the tool and list out the important information. You could verify the file size and everything else. Once it's well and good, go to the partition tab. And now, if this is an OTA file, then make sure to check mark allow incremental. However, if you have downloaded the full firmware, then no need to check mark this file. Moving on, if you want a single file, for example, if you just want a boot.img or root, then select boot.img and hit extract image. However, if you want all the partition files, then select any one file and use the Ctrl A shortcut. This will select all the files. Once that is done, click on extract image and it will now ask for the path. Let's choose any part of your choice. You could also create a new folder for the ease of convenience and select OK. The extraction will now begin and it will now extract all the files. So guys, these were the two different methods to extract the payload.bin firmware. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. I will get back to you with a solution at the earliest. And guys, please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.